Hey, boys and girls, welcome to the Do Now Today. What are we going to do? Oh, this one first. Here we go. Look at this. What's the difference between a square and a rectangle? What best represents X? Yes for square, no for rectangle. Go. All right, let's see. I don't know. Um, square versus a rectangle. You know that a square has all congruent sides and all the angles are right angles. So that would be 90, 180, 270, 360. So all the angles add up to 360 there. And a rectangle has all right angles also. So 90, 180, 270, 360. All the interior angles add up to um, 360, but uh-oh. Opposite sides are parallel and congruent. Mm. So not all the sides are the same. In a square, all the sides are the same. All the sides are congruent. But in a rectangle, only the opposite sides are congruent. So that would be A. Has all sides equal? Yes for a square, no for a rectangle. A, A, A. Nice job. Okay, let's try this one. Go ahead and read it. What is X? Draw the picture in your notes, go. Okay, let's see what we need to do. We need to find out what X is right here. Oops, sorry, this one. Figure out what X is right here. Okay, so I'm gonna use Sokotoa because I have a right triangle. So this is going to be the opposite. Yeah, what's this side gonna be? Yeah, the adjacent. Right here across on the right angle is the hypotenuse. There we go. So I'm going to write Sokotoa right there. Okay. So I have opposite 32 and I got adjacent 77. What am I going to use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Yep, tangent. Good work. So tangent of X equals opposite 32 over adjacent. 77, there you go. Okay, so I remember I'm solving for x, so I could get rid of this tangent. What am I going to do? Yep, inverse tangent, both sides. There we go. Because tangent and inverse tangent are opposite. So x equals inverse tangent of 32 over 77. Okay, now it is calculator time. Make sure you are on degree mode, because I think the S for the answer is in degrees. Yeah, it's a degree symbol right there. Okay, so I'm going to hit second tangent, 32 divided by 77, and I get about 22.5, 22 22.6, about 22.6. So X is about 22.6 degrees. Okay, so now we go, which one is it about? 20.6, that would be A, 23. There you go, 23 for that one. Last one, also, oops, so oop. Go ahead and draw it and do it. What's the answer? Go. All right, let's see. We got to find out what the question mark is. So B and C right here, okay. Boop. So B and C, is this question mark? I don't like the question mark, I'm going to put X instead because it's easier to draw. So we have the, this is the hypotenuse. 200 is the adjacent. Yeah, I draw an arrow right here. That's the opposite. So, so, ka, to, always write that every single problem. All right, so what am I gonna use? I have adjacent and hypotenuse, nothing on the opposite. So what am I gonna use? Yeah, cosine. Cosine of 35 equals adjacent, which is 200, has to be in the order. Adjacent over hypotenuse, x of a row, x over 2, honey, it would be wrong. Okay, so what do I do now? Solve for x, cross, multiply. 200 times 1 is 2, honey. x times cosine of 35, there you go. Multiplying by cosine of 35, this is a number. So I have to divide by cosine of 35. Oh, there you go. So x, this is 1, so x equals tangent, sorry, 200, I don't know why I said tangent, 200 divided by cosine 35. So that would be 
see. Nice job, everybody.